Hello and welcome to another episode of Sandy Killer Projects. Today we're going to be installing an integrated dash camera system into the 2023 Honda Passport Trail Sport that we have. Um, this is a cool camera system for a couple of reasons. This camera system is fully integrated into this piece of plastic right here. We actually remove it off and put the camera system in place of it. The system itself actually comes with its own integrated Wi-Fi, which makes it easier to use because of the fact that you just connect your phone to the Wi-Fi for the camera and it picks up the signal for it. The great thing about this system is it's very quick and easy to install and we'll go through how to do that. The reasons why I'm personally excited about this camera system is because it comes from Fit Cam X, which is uh, actually our very first sponsor on this channel. Um, it is a 4K Ultra HD camera system um, and they're fairly moderately priced for what they are. The last point that I want to make about camera systems is they're just good to have nowadays. Uh, we have cameras in our phone, we have cameras in everything else. Everything gets recorded nowadays. Um, it's a good way to keep the police honest. It's a good way to keep uh, accidents honest. Um, if somebody's trying to cheat you in an accident saying something didn't happen, if you already have it pre-recorded in your system, it's great to use it as a record for anything that you might need. So with that, let me show you how to install this 4K camera system um, and how quick and easy it goes. In our case, it comes with a couple of different accessories, uh, wiring harnesses, uh, depending on what um, accessories and setup you have in your um, upper dome light and uh, um, sunglass area. If the lights are connected together, you use one set of pins. If the lights are separated, there's another um, set of wiring harnesses. And also this tool is essential because it's used to pull down the old accessory. And this is uh, the storage space for it. Up inside of your sunglass case, which also some of these have a mirror built into the back of this, um, there is a Phillips head screw here and a Phillips head screw here. Once you pull those out, the dome light assembly and housing come out fairly simply. Once you get those back two bolts out, you need to uh, remove the lens cover. You do that by um, putting the plastic tool into the back and popping down until the little cover piece comes loose. And then that exposes two more screws in the front part of it part of it you get these two screws out this piece will almost fall out the only thing that keeps it in at that point is a, is a tab on the back of it um, so the next thing we need to do is remove the wire connectors inside of here to get this piece out okay so the white wire connects to this plug port here the blue wire connects to this port right in here uh, this gray wire uh, connects to your rearview mirror assembly um, and once we take that one out uh, this assembly will come off. Okay, so there's a little cover piece in here that keeps you from being able to get this thing all the way out, but we're not going to take that off first. The next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to work this guy around and pop all the clips off of it. And the reason why is because the, the release mechanism for this is actually up in the inside and it's easier to get to once the piece is down. I'll show you on uh, their camera why um, it's difficult to get that little plate off. You have to be able to push both these tabs in and then this guy slides up and out. Um, the stock one, you need to be able to get it down so you can push those little tabs in. So FitCam X actually sends you uh, this little piece of paper to explain to you how to connect this together through your dome light. Um, the style that I have is a split style um, where we've had to pull the, the dome light covers off of it. Um, if you use that, it's a three pin connector. The three pin connector then gets connected to the white wire um, that connected into the side. And then um, this ends up becoming your power for the camera. And this goes back into your um, assembly. You have the jumper installed, you're going to take this black wire, you're going to fish it up through the top here and get it to come back down um, into this area where the plastic cover goes because that's going to be your power for your camera. You have the wire for the con camera connected, uh, you're going to pull the little plastic cover off for the uh, opening for your rearview mirror and you're going to slide this up in and clip it in place. Once you get all the wires um, neatly tucked up inside of here and this piece clipped in, um, the last thing you're going to do with the cover is to put the little plastic plate over the opening that goes right here. Okay, so to get that little clip in, you just tuck it down under the hooks and push it up in until it clicks. And then that's done. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna reinstall these three connectors back onto the uh, dome light assembly, and then we're gonna tuck it up and put the four screws back in place. For your dome light assembly back in place, just install the covers on either side. So there it is fully installed. Uh, looks very much like the regular uh, setup, except for there's now uh, a bulge coming out here. This is actually your camera. There's a little uh, piece of plastic film on the end of this. You need to take that off as well. Um, once that's done, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is download the app. I do want to say 
Uh, the whole install on this took me about 20 minutes. It's really not very difficult to deal with. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the uh, Google Play Store or uh, the Apple App Store, depending on which app you have. This is the Google Play Store, and you're going to download the Fit Cam X app. From this point, uh, you're going to navigate back to your home, and you're going to go to your uh, settings, and you're going to go into your Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi settings, you want to connect to the LHD, that is the Wi-Fi for uh, the system. So it asks you for your password, it gives you a blank password in the uh, setup, and then you um, use that connection for the camera setup. Then you go back to the app. You just tell it to connect to Fit Cam X, and it will connect to the camera. Okay, once you've hit the button to allow it to accept uh, connecting to that connection, um, then it's recording. So um, as you're driving down the road, um, you'll be able to see uh, 4K Ultra HD uh, video uh, through your phone. So if you hit the settings button down here on the right, it allows you to go in and adjust all the settings for the camera and how you have it set up. If you hit the button on the left, which is camera file, it'll let you get into all the access files um, that have been stored to um, the uh, storage for the system. This uh, camera button on the top here, if you hit it, it allows you to pause the video and the button just below it will allow you to take a picture to use as a snapshot if you need it for something specific. Uh, those will all be stored in your uh, camera file on the left. Okay, so back inside of your settings menu, it, there are all sorts of different options. One of the cool ones that it has is uh, collision sensing. It'll actually uh, automatically record a loop if in the event you've been involved in an accident. You can also set this up with uh, park protection um, if it senses motion while the car is parked and turned off, it can actually turn itself back on and, uh, and record. Okay, so besides the settings inside of the app itself, um, there is a power button directly up underneath the inside um, at the bottom. And the um, important thing to note about that is you don't have to turn the camera on and off. Um, it's actually set up once the power comes on to uh, come on and off with the stop start of the engine. So once uh, you've powered up and started driving, um, it actually knows to turn the app on and turn the app off. Uh, and then if you want to uh, be able to monitor what's, what's happening with your app, uh, you need to be able to uh, have your phone uh, riding alongside you uh, with the app on, um, and then it will uh, show you what is recording uh, while you're driving along. Okay, so this micro uh, SD USB uh, is something that came with it that um, didn't really get explained, so I'm going to tell you exactly what it's for. On the right side of the device here, there's a little cover that sits right there. If you open up that cover, there's a micro SD card inside of it. Um, if you use that and plug it into the back of this, um, it then lets you take um, all of the storage and memory along with you uh, for uh, if in the event you've had like a car accident you need to give the evidence to the police or something like that That's what this is for so it's really important that you hold on to this and keep it in the vehicle with you so that you can uh, uh, Use it if in the event it's needed camera through that micro SD that's inside of it um, It also gives you roughly 30 days of memory storage depending on how much uh, videos you have recorded or held in the system uh, for saving to be used later um, the advantage is you can uh, leave the videos in there or you can dump them out as you want, but it will uh, automatically dump the old files for you. So that's going to do it for our Fit Cam X uh, install video. Um, this is actually a really good value for what it is. Um, these cameras are under $200. Um, if you use our link in the description, you'll get an extra 6% off of the cost. I want to thank the Fit Cam X people for sponsoring this video and for uh, sending us this camera. Super, super easy to install. Uh, really uh, well integrated into the uh, fit of the car. Um, and uh, the app works great, and it's super simple to navigate around. So, um, as always, thank you for watching. Um, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll keep making more videos.